Okay, so I'm going to show you how to work out the problems that go along with gene mutations. Just as a review, um, I want to remind you of the different types of gene mutations. Remember, there's a frame shift mutation. That's where a nucleotide has either been inserted, so you have an extra um, nucleotide, or one's been deleted, so one, uh, a nucleotide would be missing. You can identify these because, um, remember, uh, the sequences should be read three letters at a time, which is a codon. Well, if you have um, an insertion or a deletion, then at the end of the sequence, um, you're going to have an extra letter or two extra letters. And so that's an easy way to identify if it's a frame shift. Then we had point mutations, and we said point mutations were substitutions. So one nucleotide would be substituted with another. And um, there were three possibilities for point mutations. It could be silent, which meant that the um, mutated codon actually coded for the same amino acid as the original codon. So there would be no real difference at all, and no noticeable change. Um, then there would be a, or it could be a nonsense mutation, and that's where the mutated codon would actually code for a stop codon in the middle of the sequence, and the protein would never be uh, made like it should be. Um, or there's a missense mutation, which occurs when the mutated codon actually codes for a completely different amino acid. Um, so I'm going to go through and show you how uh, to work these out. So first of all, you'll have your normal DNA sequence and then you would transcribe it just as you normally would uh, into RNA. We see that has been done here. And then you would use your codon chart to find the amino acid. So remember AUG. So uh, just to refresh your memory, you would have A is your first um, base. U is the second. And so they uh, intersect right here and so you'd go over here you'd find the G on that same line and come back and so it is methionine and so that's what we have right here and so you've got your amino acids all right so that's what it should be so what you do first is you look and you say okay do I see any extra letters or any letters that are missing you know is it through all um, in threes so we got TAC CGT, GGA, TTG, ACT. So there's been no deletions, no insertions, so this is not a frame shift. So now we know it has to be a substitution, a point mutation, so therefore we got to figure out if it's silent, nonsense, or missense. So what we do first is we compare the mutated DNA to the normal DNA. So we see no differences here. Then we go CCT, C. G T. Well, there's the difference. There's the mistake. So I'm going to circle the G because that's where my mistake is. Now I need to make sure there aren't any others. So GGA, GGA, TTG, TTG, ACT, ACT. So everything else is the same. Now, since everything else is the same, this can be um, pretty easy. Because all you would have to do from this point is really just worry about where the mistake is. So everything else you can just copy because it's all the same. See, TAC is still going to be AUG and GGA is still going to be um, CCU. And TTG would be AAC, just like it was before. And then ACT would be UGA, just like it was before. Okay, and then, okay, I can move this down a little bit, I think. Okay, all right, so then your amino acids, no, there's only one change here, too. So, we would just go through here and we'd say, okay, well, that was methionine and CCU was proline and AAC was asparagine and UGA was stock. 
All right, so now all you really have to think about or worry about is where the mutation actually occurred. So you say, okay, so CGT, so that would be GCA, and then I would look up GCA on my chart. So G, it's on this line, C, so it has to be in this square right here, and then A, so I'll come back, so it's alanine. Alanine. Okay, so now I would say, okay, I want to look at this amino acid where the mutation occurred and the original amino acid, and I'm going to compare them. Are they the same? No. So it's not a silent mutation. Is this a stop codon in the middle of the sequence? No. So this is not a nonsense, but these are two completely different amino acids, so that makes this a missense. I'm just going to write that. So this is a missense mutation. And the way you know is because where the mutation occurred, it, it's a completely different amino acid. It codes for a completely different amino acid. So alanine, glycine, two completely different amino acids. So this is a missense. Okay? Now, I want you to if you think you've got it, then on this next one, I want you to kind of um, maybe stop the video, work it out, and then check yourself. Okay, so um, here we go. First thing I do is I'm going to look and say, okay, do I see um, an insertion or a deletion? So I'm going to check to make sure that it's, um, you know, groups of three. So TAC, CCT, ATT, TTG, ACT. Okay, no insertion or deletion. So now I can do my um, comparing. So TAC, TAC, no change there. CCT, CCT, no change. Um, ATT, and the original was AAT. So there's my mistake. There's the change, and it's right here. T right there. So I'm going to circle it. Then I check to make sure everything else is the same, and it is. So now I'll go through and I can just copy the things that were not changed. Okay, so I can never get my cursor to come up here. All right, so TAC, AUG, just like it was before, CCT, DDA. I'm going to skip where my mistake was and then. A, A, C, and U, G, A. All right, then for my amino acids, I don't even have to use my chart until I get to this one. I can just go ahead and put those in because they will not change. Because nothing's changed except where the mutation occurred. And then the last one will stop. So now I just come and I say, okay, so ATT is now going to be UAA. Bring that right down here. Okay. And then UAA, I look that up on my chart. UAA. Oh, okay. So now that is a stop codon in the middle of the sequence. So remember, when it codes for a stop codon early, right there in the middle, remember that should not happen. In fact, if that happened, these two won't even form. Okay, so these would be, they wouldn't even be there. We can just take those out because it would cause it to stop. And so the protein would not be um, produced like it should. So this is a nonsense mutation. Okay, because it coded for a stock codon in the middle, early on, before it was completely formed. Okay? Alright, hopefully y'all are getting this. Okay, so we're moving on to our next one. Okay, hopefully you remember the first step. First thing is always look to see if you see any 
extra letters or missing letters. Um, everything should be in threes. We got TAC, CCT, GGA, TTA, ACT. Okay, so no missing letters, no extra letters. So now I'm going to go, so I know it's on a frame shift. I'm going to go ahead and compare. And I've got TAC, TAC, CCT, CCT, GGA, GGA, TTG, TTA. All right, so there is the mistake right here. This G has now been substituted with the A. Everything else is the same. So now I just go in and I fill in what I already know. So I know TAC is going to be AUG. And I know that CCT is going to be GGA. Oops. I know that GGA is going to be CCU. TTA is now going to be AAU, and ACT is going to be UGA. All right, so then I go in and I say, okay, my amino acids, everything is going to be the same except right here where my mistake was. So I've got thionine, GGA is glycine, CCU is proline. I'm going to skip this one. I'll come back to it in a minute. So UGA is stop. So then I just say, okay, A, A, U, A, A, U is asparagine. Okay. Let's see if I can get that back up here. Oops. There it is. So now I look at my mutated, where the mutation occurred, and it was spherigon. And I compare it to up here, it was also spherigon. So now those are the same amino acids. So there was no difference. So this is a silent mutation. Okay, so when they code for the same amino acid, that's a silent mutation. All right, now we've got one more. So remember, our first step, always look to see, are there any additional letters um, or any missing letters? So we'll go through and make sure that it's um, in groups of three. And right off the bat, hopefully you notice we got Something kind of weird going on right here. Instead of just TAC, it's TACC, and then CCT, ATT, TTG, and ACT. Okay, so remember, they have to be read in groups of three. So we would say TAC, and draw a line right there, CCC, TAT, TTT, G, A, C, and then you have your T out here on the end. So that tells you that this is a frame shift mutation. So we, we would just go ahead and we can write that in because we know this is a frame shift. Because we see that in this case, there has been a nucleotide inserted or added that should not be there. So it shifts the whole reading frame. All right, so here we probably are going to have to do a little bit more work than we did on the others. So we would start with our RNA. Okay, and TAC, it stays the same. It's going to be AUG. But CCC, okay, we're going to look CCC up on our chart. We got C, 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 so that would be proline. And then, oh, I'm sorry, I kind of I jumped ahead. I'm sorry. CCC is uh, going to code for GGG. Excuse me. All right, and then TAT would code for AUA. Yep. Okay. So 
AUA, and then TTT would code for AAA, GAC would code for C U G, and then you have your T just out there by itself. Okay, then you would look these up on your codon chart. So AUG, it's methionine just like before. GGG, we look up G, 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 so it's glycine. AUA, A, U, A, so that's theranine. A, 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 A is lysine. And then C U G C U G is leucine. All right, so you can look up here and you can see that it does cause quite a bit of difference. We see the first two amino acids are the same, but after that, everything pretty much changes. Okay, so that's um, going to be a frame shift where you have an, um, an additional nucleotide or a deleted one. And in this case, we had an additional one. All right, so hopefully this video was helpful. Um, if you are having trouble with it, maybe go back and watch it again just to make sure. I'll also do a um, Google Meet in a, few, in a couple of days if you want to ask some questions, and we can maybe do some together if you need to. So um, just make yourself familiar with how to do these. You're going to have um, a couple of these on the daily grade, and you'll, you will see them again on the test as well. All right, y'all have a great day.